Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 20th, 2021. So today, oh, look at this. This is good. We love this. All right. So we have energy healing work. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. And the other card says you and your loved ones are safe. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones, and you can name your loved ones. Uh, please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. So you're in a good space to finally, for some of you out there, to come through the pain, to come through whatever lesson has just, I want to use the word plaguing. It's, it's been sort of plaguing you. Again, we're in a very different era now. So we are going to see a completely new perspective. We're going to see where, yeah, they're saying where we can finally, uh, finally tune. That's what they're saying. Finally tune our growth. And that's coming out of that old chapter, letting ourselves be transformed in this new chapter. And the energy healing work just helps you close out some of those open lessons. Okay. So as I just, okay. Okay. So you guys understand, I tend to get um, a high pitch, <laughs> sort of a squeal. I don't know, a tone that happens in my ears. I know you guys are going to put all these medical terms on that, but what ends up happening when I'm doing a message and we call it a download, I will go deaf in one ear, typically one ear, and then the high pitch goes. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And what I can pass along from it thus far is that it's time to close out those lessons so that you can get started on this fresh start. Yes. So this doesn't mean that the fresh start is all of a sudden everything is perfect. I don't have to worry about anything ever again. You will always have challenges and lessons. That is part of being human. But you and your loved ones are safe as you go down this road, as you go on this journey. Okay. So Ask Archangel Michael for that protection, as I keep saying in like every video, for the clarity. It is such an imperative time to understand what we are being shown. You know, a big thing here uh, with repeating numbers, angel numbers. By the way, side note, we'll come back to angel numbers. If you're a YouTuber, treat every video as if it's going to get hundreds of thousands of views. If you guys haven't checked out my original um it's sort of like the Cliff's Notes of angel numbers. I recorded that <laughs> on a very hot day. I had spent the whole day or the whole morning at the pool. I had just come back and showered. It was too hot to blow out my hair. I let it air dry. I did that video as an afterthought and I looked terrible. I put on a bright lipstick because I wasn't wearing much, uh, much other makeup. I think I had even turned off my lamps and was only just using the, uh, the light from the window. And I was on a camera that I once heard a YouTuber say is one step above filming on a baked potato. Uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. And it, last time I checked, I think it has 882,000 views or something. Yeah. So side story, if you film with something, make sure that <laughs> it's not an afterthought, put it together. Okay. So anyway, back to the angel numbers. So there's this fascination with repeating numbers mostly because these are the number codes, well, especially from our angels. Um, you know, there could be other signs from like spirit guides and things like that, of course. But with the angelic code numbers, that is changing you. It's activating you, yes? And if you need more proof of this, I don't know that it's definitive proof, but <laughs> what it does, think, just think about how you feel when you see 1111 or 444 or 777. What happens to you? Now, I know there's a psychological term that's assigned to that. That is not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm talking about something where your back is completely turned and you feel this notion to like turn completely around and right there in front of you are a bunch of repeating numbers. Or you're waking up in the middle of the night and you look over at your clock and it's 4.44 in the morning. Like you didn't just see that out of the corner of your eye and it caught your eye and you looked over. At least I know the difference. Comment down below. Do you know the difference when you see something and you psychologically have to look at it because 
you're like, oh, I'm going to catch that. You know, that's different than it kind of coming upon you by surprise. But when you see these numbers, these repeating numbers, it's imprinting some message upon you. So just pay attention to how you feel. You'll feel a jolt. Something will happen. You might have a really clear thought or you might just experience it in your body. There's so much more than what we know. And hopefully as we come into this new era, we'll start to have a deeper and deeper understanding of that. But this is also another way that you're being energetically healed. So if you've not checked out that original video and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, go back even just for a laugh, go back and <laughs> look at that video. I've also made refresh videos on repeating numbers. Just go to my channel and, and look for those. Those are, those are around. Um, but yeah, I think for a lot of you, you're right on track with the growth, with the opening. Just don't be afraid of it. Don't hang back because you think, oh no, this is gonna, because when we have like a spiritual activation, you know, that could, that changes your frequency so much that maybe you do go into work and now you know, okay, I got to get away from this job because this just doesn't fit me anymore. Or people are afraid of breaking up their loved ones and, or losing friends or whatever. Those kinds of things, when you're going through a spiritual awakening, that can definitely occur. But if that should happen, let it happen. If someone I mean, I, I actually went through a scenario like that where I loved somebody on a very, very deep soul level and not to sound like I'm on my high horse or anything like that. I don't mean it like this, but I was very into the spiritual growth and doing whatever it took, like, you know, admitting my faults, working on my pain body, looking at the hard traumas, looking at all of that and trying to heal myself. But this other person wasn't healing his traumas. And so I had to walk away. Now, does that mean he can never heal his trauma? No, if he does, maybe we'll be a frequency match. But if he doesn't, we go out this whole life, we go on with this whole life never being together. You feel me? So I think a lot of people will hang back and they feel like it's a little dangerous to go down that road, right? Because they don't want too much change to happen. These cards and every, all of this here, this is all saying, don't be afraid. Here's Archangel Michael with the Archangel Michael deck. You are protected. Don't be afraid to release. It's right there and embrace the beauty of what is now becoming available and accessible to you. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.